Hello, uh, my name is Sean Park. I'm South Korean urologist. How do we test uh, STIs? What's STIs screening? Well, some of the infections can be tested through the blood. For example, syphilis, HIV, or hepatitis, herpes viruses, those can be tested through the blood. And other diseases like urethritis or vaginitis, proctitis can be best diagnosed by uh, uh, swab or urine test. So uh, HIV and syphilis, those blood tests usually uh, test for uh, antigen antibody. We draw the blood and we see whether our body have formed uh, antibody toward the virus itself. And uh, when we test the urine in South Korea, we use a PCR or the vagina swab, we also use a PCR, which means that we detect uh, bacterial fragment RNA itself. So uh, it shows one of the most uh, reliable results so far. And luckily, we have a, a very good system uh, which can show the test result really quickly. Within usually a day, we can get the result of the blood test or the urine test, urine PCR. Uh, herpes is a little different. Generally, it takes about two or three days to get it done. But other than that, most tests are coming in really quick and the fast result you can get. Also very reliable. So when you call the STI panel test, uh, usually HIV syphilis, uh, we test it with the blood and the other uh, organs can be tested, the uh, urine or the vaginal swab, or even uh, sometimes a uh, uh, anal swab can be used for the gay men. These tests are uh, not that invasive. Even the blood test, you know, we only need uh, five cc or less than that. It stinks, but <laughs> goes through really quickly. My guys are really good at, uh, you know, drawing blood. And uh, urine tests also, or vaginal swab or, or anal swab is not that, in, not at all invasive. So uh, getting a test is not a big deal. So get a better test when you uh, can is the best way. When to get a test is a different thing. So if you have a regular partner, well, actually you don't need it. All you need is when you have a symptom, you get a test. But Let's say you have multiple partners and you don't know uh, whether your protection was proper or not, then uh, it's better to get a, a screening. We recommend to get a test in three months or six months regularly. Or if they have any kind of symptom uh, in their throat or in their urethra or in their anus, vagina, then you will need a test. These days, germs have been, in mice, have been evolving toward uh, less symptomatic ones, which means that 70% of them are asymptomatic. They have no symptom at all, but still they got uh, an infection. The problem with these infections are they don't go away without any sequelae. They will always leave some kind of sequelae. For men, it can be chronic prostatitis or the chronic urocardia, chronic inflammation of your uh, balls, I would say, and then it can go toward the uh, infertility eventually. So for a moment, it can be uh, PIDs and infertility and so many nasty other stuff. But actually, the treatment itself is a pretty simple. A shot and seven days or one day pill will technically wipe them out. So getting a proper test and the treatment is a uh, compared to the what they can have as a sequel is, is much, I would say, uh, cheaper and easier deed you have to do. So whenever you have a symptom or whenever you have uh, some suspicious events, then getting a screening is not a bad idea at all. After all, uh, better safe than sorry.